Uh, in one of our sun languages, it is Tukhansi, uh, which is in Namibia, Tumkwe. And then it says, in English it says, Ancestors, protect us and give us luck on our hand. In the Tukhansi, it says, Pepe, he or he, we eka eswa, aurehen ka eke. Previously, we had only two tours, which mm -hmm. was a tea tasting and the sand guided nature tour. And then we've got the heritage center. So during lockdown, we went to sit down and thought, we've got the state of the art heritage center held in 29, 2018. Um, so, and a lot of, and it was self guided at the time, just to go self guided through it. Why don't we do tours around the heritage center? Because right, our guides are equipped with lots of stories, a lot of culture and heritage stories that people want to listen to. And that's when we organize ourselves and we did um, construct three tours around the heritage center, which is first people telling the story of forefathers, uh, archaeology, and, and so forth. And then it's the encounters building, um, focusing more on the story of when cultures collide. Um, so it's the story of the first inhabitants and when the, I would say, the settlers um, came into, when oh, okay. Jan van Riebeek's ships um, arrived right, uh, right, uh, right yes. in the ports of Cape Town, and the way of the sand building which talks about spirit, hunting and gathering, and also the modern sand people. Then we've got the tea tasting tour, we call it the felt pharmacy, where you learn about edible plants, medicinal plants, and together with that uh, informative tour, we've got like a herbal tea tasting, revolving around fainbos, which is buchu, um, wild wormwood, valedaka um, um, that we call, and mixed with some rebels oh. and, and cancer boost which is an immune booster and during COVID time we all drank it at a <laughs> 10 minute meeting <laughs> so that's our way of giving back to the, 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 community. the, the communities by um, selling their products in our, in our craft shop here and with all this restriction it was a little bit difficult getting a lot of the artifacts across the borders and 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 I'm from Northern Cape Kimberley. I come here in 2009 because uh, is a training center and heritage. So I supposed to come only for nine months to do my training, but I think it's a very slow nine months. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm 13 years here in the Western Cape. So I'm just going to give you guys just an intro in each building okay. oh. so that you guys can see what we explain and what we do. Yeah. Oh. And this is uh, the first people building. Let's go in. Uh, uh, two of the buildings are fully equipped with all the stories and information in the buildings. Sometimes one can come on your own and do a self-guided tour or you can take a guide. So maybe uh, try and take a guide and then what we do is uh, we have five guides and then each guide has their favorites. So maybe I will pick up few and then I'll explain what my favorites are. And then always clients come back and do the whole building. Okay. Um. So that part of the building, it is love and then like, your ancestors come from Africa, welcome home. Maybe I'm doing a tour of different um, group of young people from outside of this. Awesome. And then they like, look at me. And then they, I look at them. I'm like, okay, you need this. Do you understand? Your ancestors come from Africa, welcome home. Most of the time, people that visit South Africa, they say, I'm visiting South Africa. No, they are not visiting, you are coming back home. Mm -hmm. In this building, we talk about history, archaeology stories, all time, and genetics. So well, if one do a DNA, it brings you back to Africa. Mm -hmm. That's where everybody start. Uh, when Jan van Riebeck came in, they come and found here in what has happened to the community. So it is almost like the sad part of the building is dead side. Here and here. And what does that sound 
Det ena. I det starta sand av det skrivet. Det är inte det från Lampetjes. Här lär det sig att de är väldigt strongly. Se pick it up six years back. Now she is doing um, teaching kids in primary. Wow. So it doesn't die out. Yes. During apartheid time, their language died out because they were not allowed to speak to speak the language. You have to speak Afrikaans if you want a job or you want to survive. And that's where Afrikaans. Then that's where Afrikaans. Uh, in one of our sun languages, it is Tupansi, uh, which is in Namibia, Tumque. And then it says, in English, it says, Ancestors, protect us and give us luck on our hand. In the Tupansi, it says, Pepe, he work or he, we eka eswa, aurehen ta eke Of nature inside, we give you a building just to give you a feeling of outside. Okay, you here? Can I start? Yes, you can. Okay, guys, this is the tea that you're gonna taste. So, in this tea, there is four medicinal plants. Cancer bush, very good for the whole immune system booster from head to toe. When it comes to women that are pregnant, it's not allowed. If you are one to six months pregnancy, Please don't drink cancer boost because it is very bitter and we are afraid it might harm a baby. For asthma, sugar level, diabetes, stomach complaint, high headache. So, what Donika have done is, she take all the medicinal plants and she mix it. And she's like, okay, I want to make a medicinal tea, but what am I going to do to attract a person that don't want to drink at herbal tea. She take loose rooibos and she mix it. And voila, we created our own brew. And what then, this is the one. Yeah. This is the one. We see a little packet for 45 rand in the shop. And then, five years back, we started and our medicinal tea is thumbs up for a test. Since that day, we are selling a packet and we let clients taste it. So, that is the look. Mm -hmm. A tea look and then a tea taste but at the same time you are drinking a medicine so it is now for the whole body from head to toe and also to say corona no goodbye we don't need you yeah <laughs> bye bye corona bye bye corona oh, bye bye immune corona. system booster boost your immune system bye bye corona and it's empty it's empty <laughs> Mine is empty. So that's Ooh. the tea. Okay. What so. did you think this is? Juice. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not that. I didn't expect it to have the that. Punch. Punch. When he said she did put the rooibos, juice. rooibos. <laughs> I was expecting to have the rooibos test, ah. and I, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> this is with my COVID. <laughs> So only in South Africa? Oh, okay. uh, now Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Zimbabwe. So basically in and Africa. Oh my God, that's finished. I'll give you a call. Yeah, please. Because I think I might have called. Luxury African safari travel. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you my call. I think I have one in the car. Let me just check. If I do have one, you'll get one. Otherwise, I can write it down. We'll do it the old way. You write it down. The old fashioned. I'm going to teach you a dance. You know that I don't have rhythm at all. It's easy. You just, you just do this. That's all you do. 
Okay, but two, three. Yeah. And then you can add your you can add your own mix. You can add your <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Rizzi, mate, it's something, everyone is always laughing at who they said, like, for a black person, don't There's a really black community that dances. What do you call it? My husband's here. Yes, yes. Yes, my <laughs> husband does that. I'm that? telling you, there's a black community and they yeah. do it. They, they no. My husband does that and it's something with his yes. hands and something yes. with his hands. And my husband died. You should see Barry. Go see his song. <laughs> and he has got a pot. Barry's like, you know what, my when I'm dancing, I just do. No. He says, I will hit it and I'll just start to hit it. Catch me from the other oh, side. <laughs> my brother, my brother was also like, you know, he's like, so, and like, just me write something for her so that you never know. And he used to dance. That's all he used to do. So after some crazy moves by Pin Pin trying to teach my friends and colleagues some crazy dance moves just to shake them a little bit because the weather was not okay, we decided to go to our next stop and our next stop was the Shark Bay Shake. This is a restaurant and a coffee shop overlooking the Langaban Lagoon. You get the most amazing views and they have a rooftop where you can sit and enjoy your coffee while enjoying the magnificent views of the Langaban Lagoon.
and this is the curry bar owned by valerie we are here having lunch and we are also drinking non-alcoholic drinks because we are currently at work If you have watched part 2 of this series you would have met Martin the musician and the local fisherman and today he brought us a bokom and some fish. A bokom is a salted dry fish that is very popular on the west coast. Now that our tummies are full with some delicious lunch from the Kariba, our next and final destination is Langeban. But let me tell you something, Langeban is beautiful if you are looking at it from the lookout point. From this point you can see the two islands, you can see the Mew Island and the Scuppin Island. And those islands they can be explored with a kayak as well. I don't want to go to the norm. I want people to see what what the town is about and what there is to offer. When you arrive at Langeban Beach, there are few shops that you can go into and support. And there are some bars and restaurants overlooking the ocean. And you can come here anytime and have lunch. Activities in this area include stand-up paddling boards, kayaking and bicycle rental. Thank you very much for watching episode 3 and this was the last episode of the 3 episodes. If you have not watched episode 1 and 2, I will highly, highly advise you to go and watch episode 1 and 2 so that you can enjoy and follow on episode 3. Thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for your support. Please remember to comment, to subscribe and also to share this content with your family and friends and we cannot wait to see you on the west coast.